welcome to our lesson uh, with uh, teacher Marita James, Kirigol's Boys High School. Our topic of discussion is uh, air and combustion from one work, and our subtopic is uh, rusting. We have analysis on uh, rusting, so study the diagram below and answer the questions uh, that follows. Look at this diagram. We have diagram A where we have an iron nail and this one is open at the top. We have a diagram P where we have an iron nail, an iron nail inside an hydrous calcium chloride. Then we have a test tube C with an iron nail and water. We have test tube D with an iron nail inside a salt water. We have a test tube E where we have single foil or the aluminum foil. Uh, we saw we have an iron nail which is coated or covered with a single foil uh, or you can use an aluminum foil. We have another test tube where we have uh, <coughs> an iron nail inside uh, a boiled water. The boiled water is covered with a layer of oil. Then we have uh, test tube uh, a G where we have an iron nail and of course uh, uh, inside uh, water so we can have inside water. This iron nail is covered with the copper foil or use of a thin foil. Then we have the, the an iron nail in where we have the biogalic acid. This diagram, uh, diagram one, it is testing the conditions for rusting. So this one here, the first diagram is testing the conditions for rusting. And as you know that we have, um, we have, um, we have um, um, two conditions for rusting. Conditions for rusting, we have air and the moisture. So we can have conditions for Condition is for rusting. So we have only two. So we have uh, we have air, and then we have moisture. So these are the conditions for rusting. So when you look at diagram number one, uh, diagram A, this one is opened at the top, meaning that the conditions for rusting are present. That is, air and moisture are present. You know, where there is moisture, where there is air, rusting can take place after seven days or after three days. In diagram P, it is testing the, the purpose of anhydrous calcium chloride. So it is wrong to say that rusting will not take place in the test tube P uh, because, anhydrous um, because the conditions for rusting are absent. That one is wrong. In this diagram, you need to explain, to state specifically the purpose of anhydrous calcium chloride. Then we have water. We know rusting will take place here, but specifically now here, what is inside this water that, that will make rusting to take place? In the test tube D, we have the salt water. This one is testing that the conditions in that are necessary for accelerating rusting the conditions that make rusting to take place more intense so in this case rusting will take place it is not that the conditions for rusting are present no it is because that in a salt water rusting will take place more intense in the test to pay <coughs> e and G, the two I'm combining these two, they are testing the methods of preventing rusting, whereby a metal, an iron metal, is coated with another metal. For instance, here we have zinc foil which is coating an iron metal, or you can use aluminum foil. Uh, we have G where we have an, an iron nail coated with a, a copper foil or a tin. 
So in these two are testing the methods of preventing uh, methods and methods of preventing rusting. We call it electroplating. So we have some methods which can offer the sacrificial, sacrificial protection, likes of zinc, likes of aluminium, likes of magnesium. All of those methods they can offer sacrificial protections. So wherever we have an iron metal covered with either zinc foil, aluminium foil, or magnesium no rusting will take place because those metals they offer the sacrificial protection protection but where we have copper tin foil this one does not offer sacrificial protection so rusting uh, will take place so starting with the test tube a we have that uh, in the test tube a test tube a the conditions for rusting are present that is air and moisture therefore rusting took place so here we say there is rusting so in test tube a we have rusting and it is rusting because we are saying that uh, air and moisture are present so we can say that this one here air and moisture moisture are present a condition is necessary for rusting in the test tube p we have the purpose of an address calcium chloride the purpose of an address calcium chloride this one here removes the moisture so this one removes removes the moisture moisture a condition required for rusting so if the anhydrous calcium chloride removes the moisture so we say no rusting so in test in this test tube we say there is no rusting rusting did not take place here because anhydrous calcium chloride removes the moisture a condition required for rusting in the test tube uh, c we have there is air which is dissolving in water so we have air dissolves in water and the air is a condition for rusting so rusting will take place so here we say there is rusting and the reason why we are saying that there is rusting here we say that air dissolves in so we have air dissolves dissolves in water so if there is air which is dissolving in water therefore rusting will take place I, in test tube D, this one is testing the conditions um, that will as relate rusting. And we have the three conditions that as relates rusting. One of the conditions that, that uh, as relates rusting, where rusting will, that makes rusting to take place more intense. So we have conditions, conditions uh, that makes, makes, rusting to take place to take place more intense so we have three one we have a acidic condition we have acidic conditions two we have a high temperature condition We have high temperature conditions. And then we have assault conditions. So where we have these three, uh, acidic condition, high temperature condition, and assault condition, rusting will take place more intense. So in our test tube D, where we have assault water, rusting will take place. But the rate at which rusting takes place at D is faster compared to A because we have a salt, a salt water which makes rusting to take place a more faster. So here rusting took place more intense. Rusting. took place more intense because uh, a solid condition as a relate rusting when you come in a diagram e we have a, a, a methods uh, this is a, we call it electroplating we are recording a, an iron metal with zinc metal 
aluminium foil. What does this metals over? They over the sacrificial um sacrificial protection. They are protecting an uh, iron metal uh, from uh, rusting um, from rusting because zinc or aluminium or magnesium so you can have your magnesium also you can have the magnesium foil all of these three where we have zinc aluminium and magnesium rusting will not take place because these methods they over the sacrificial protection all of them they are above they are above iron in the, in the reactivity series. So they do the, they over the sacrificial protection. They protect an iron from rusting. So here we can say no rusting. No rusting. So don't say that no rusting because the conditions for rusting are absent. No. No rusting because zinc foil, aluminium foil, or magnesium foil they offer the sacrificial protection so they protect an iron from rusting because they are above height they are above an iron in the reactivity series so in another diagram f we have a, a boiled water and then we have a layer of oil boiling water drives out the air which is inside water so when you are boiling the water you drive out the air covering a layer of uh, Covering this water with a layer of oil prevents the re-entry of oxygen. So the conditions for rusting are absent. But that is not the reason why you will say that rusting did not take place. There are two reasons why rusting did not take place here. One, boiling water drives air. Air is a condition is required for rusting. Covering with a layer of oil prevents re-entry of oxygen. So here we have no rusting. So we have no rusting because uh, boiling water drives out the air a condition is required for rusting and the purpose of this oil it prevents the re-entry of this air into the water therefore there is no rusting in test tube g we have a copper foil or we have a tin foil copper or a tin foil they are below iron in the reactivity series Therefore, a coat of copper or a coat of tin foil will not offer sacrificial protection to iron, meaning that rusting will take place here because copper, copper foil, tin foil, they do not offer the sacrificial protection because they are below iron in the reactivity series. So in this case here, you say uh, rusting will take place. So we have rusting took place. Rusting took place, and the reason why rusting took place because copper or tin foil does not offer sacrificial protection. Therefore, there is a there is air, there is a there is air, and there is moisture. Rusting wood took place. The two will not offer the sacrificial protection. So we have another one here where we have an iron nail inside the pyrogallic acid. Pyrogallic acid, as we said, that the three conditions that makes rusting take more not take more intense. We have acidic condition, a high temperature condition, and a solid condition. So where we have those three conditions, rusting will take place more intense. So in this te test tube, there is rusting. There is there is rusting, which will take place more intense, as we said on this side, where we have a, a solid condition. And an acidic condition, rusting will took place more intense. So you are supposed to, to state and explain the observation made in each test tube after, after seven days. In test tube A, rusting took place. The conditions for rusting are absent, that is air and moisture. In test tube P, no rusting. Anhydrous calcium chloride removes the moisture, a condition required for rusting. In test tube C, rusting took place. There is a dissolved air in water, a condition required for rusting. In test tube D, rusting took place more intense. Where there is a solid condition, rusting 
took place very fast and this explains why vehicles in Mombasa rust faster than vehicles in, in Nairobi because in Mombasa the temperature is very high we have a uh, salt water from the ocean then we have an uh, acidic condition so rusting we took place in uh, rusting vehicles in Mombasa rust faster than vehicles in Nairobi because Mombasa experience uh, a high a, a acidic condition, a high temperature condition, and a salt con condition, the conditions that makes rusting to take place more intense. In the test tube E, there is no rusting. Zinc foil, aluminium foil, or magnesium foil, they are above hydro they are above iron in the reactivity series. Therefore, they offer sacrificial protection. In this the test tube, there is no rusting. A boiling water drives out the air, the air required for rusting, covering with a ray of oil prevents the entry of air. In this test tube G, rusting took place. Copper foil or a thin foil, they are below iron in the reactivity series, and therefore they do not offer the sacrificial protection. In a test in, in another test tube, rusting took place more intense. Because where we have a pyrogallic acid or we have a salt water or we have a high temperature condition, rusting will took place more intense. So this is the analysis of all the question or the diagrams that can be set in a KCSE examination. So you can see the first one is testing conditions for rusting. We have an hydrous calcium chloride there. You study this purpose. We have a salt water. We have a salt water. We have a tap water. We have zinc foil, aluminum foil, magnesium foil, and then we have copper. It is testing the conditions for rusting, conditions that makes rusting to take place more intense, and the methods of preventing rusting. Make a follow up on my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe and uh, click the notification. A pearl such that you will be notified once I upload a new video. Thank you. May God bless you.